What is going on guys, welcome back to Ambitions World, and today I'm going to be taking you through one of my Minecraft trivias. So there are 15 questions inside this place, and I want you to try to answer as many as you can correctly. And in today's video, I'll also be having a friend of mine join. His name is Extinct Pizza. This is his first time going through. He's going to see how many he can answer correctly. And be sure to keep track on how many you get correct and incorrect, and we will um, score them at the end and see how many you got right and how many you got wrong. So let's get started with question one. Also, please feel free to pause the video if you need any extra time reading the question or the answers. So here we go. The first question, what is the following recipe? Is it a dispenser or a dropper? And of these two answers, go ahead and pick one, and let's see if pizza got it right. And this one is it correct. If you get it, uh, if pizza gets it correct, uh, he will get a green piece of carpet. If he gets it wrong, he will get a red piece of carpet. So if you got that one right, go ahead and give yourself one point. And here we go with question two. How long is a full day and night cycle in Minecraft? Is it 10 minutes? Is it 30 minutes? Or is it 20 minutes? So of these three, go ahead and choose your answer and we will see if you are correct. Alright, so pizza went with 10 minutes, and unfortunately that is incorrect. It is 20 minutes. So if you got that one correct, go ahead and give yourself two points. And right now pizza is one correct and one incorrect. So anyway, let's start with question three. Alright, so how many bites can be taken from a cake? Alright, so the three answers you can choose from are 7 bytes, 8 bytes, or 9 bytes. So go ahead, choose which one you think it is correct, and we will see. Alright, so pizza went with 7 bytes, and if you chose 7 bytes, you are correct. So good job to pizza, and here we go with question 4. Okay, so which biome does it not rain in? Is it the desert, the mushroom island, or the savanna? So of these three biomes, which does it not rain in? So pizza went with the savanna biome, and that is correct. If you pick the savanna biome, go ahead and give yourself another point. So here we are on to question five. Okay, so which chest's pattern uh, is different from chest 1? So, uh, chest 1 has a pattern, and what other chest is different from this pattern that is in chest 1? And the answers are chest 2, chest 3, or chest 4. And feel free to pause the video if you need to, but here is chest 2. You definitely might need to pause the video for this question. Uh, chest 3. And chest 4. So remember, which one? Was it chest 2, chest 3, or chest 4? Which one of those had a different pattern than chest 1? And that will be your answer. So he went, pizza went with chest 3, and he got that incorrect. And if you picked chest 2, you got that correct. So go ahead and give you a point if you got it correct. And on to the next question. Alright, so the next question is, which foods restore one bar of hunger once eaten? Is it watermelon and carrot? Is it raw fish and cookie? Or is it potatoes and raw rabbit? So pizza is pointing at the raw fish and cookies. So let's see if he is correct. And he got that correct. So if you picked raw fish and cookies, uh, give you one bar of hunger once eaten, you are correct. So on to question seven. Zombies can walk over rails to attack you. So is that true? Is that only at night, or is that false? So of this three, go ahead and pick your answer. And basically, what this question is meaning is like, you know, if there's a zombie, and if you were like encased around rails, could that zombie uh, attack you? And uh, pizza went with true. And if you picked true, you are incorrect. Uh, the correct answer was false. Zombies cannot walk over rails to attack you. So, good job if you got that correct, and here we go with the next question. So, the next question is a recipe question, so what is the following recipe for? So, go ahead and 
uh, think about it, is it an oak fence gate or is it an oak fence? So of this two, go ahead and pick your answer and pizza is going to go with oak fence. And we'll see if he gets it correct and he got it correct so if you picked oak fence, good job, give yourself another point. And here we go with question 9. So which biomes do temples spawn in? Is it grassland and savanna? Or is it swamp and forest? Or is it jungle and desert? Okay, so pizza went with the jungle and desert biome. So if you pick that one, you are correct. So go ahead and give yourself another point if you uh, pick that one. And here we go with question 10. Alright, so question 10 is, destroying the, uh, the rosebush would make the anvil blank. So, would it stay in place, would it fall down, or would it disappear? So if the rosebush was destroyed underneath the anvil, what would happen to the anvil? So of those three answers I just read, go ahead and pick your answer, and pizza is going to go with stay in place. So if you pick that one, you are correct. The rose bush will make the anvil stay in place. Uh, it's a pretty weird uh, mechanic in the game. Anyway, let's go ahead and start question 11. So here we go. Uh, what items do you brew to make a uh, night vision potion? So is it nether wart and a golden carrot? Is it nether wart and a gas tear? Or is it nether wart and a glistering melon? So of those three answers, which one of those make a night vision potion? And Pizza is picking uh, another word and the golden carrot. And if you pick that, you are correct. Alright guys, so here we go with question 12. Uh, what biome do wolves mainly spawn in? Is it the grassland, the taiga, or the desert? So of those three biomes, uh, which do wolves mainly spawn in? And uh, Pizza picked the grassland. So if you picked grassland, you are incorrect. The correct answer was the taiga uh, biome. So anyway, let's get started with question 13. We have two more after this. So which of the following is not edible? So which of these cannot be eaten? Is it a puffer fish, a spider eye, or wheat? So of these three answers, go ahead and pick. Um, which is not edible, and uh, we got the puffer fish, the spider eye, or wheat. And pizza is going to go ahead and go with wheat, and if you picked wheat, you are correct. So go ahead and give yourself another point, and here we go with question 14. Okay, so how many turns is one full rotation on an item frame? Okay, so the answers are uh, 16 turns, is it 4 turns, or 8 turns? So of these three, how many uh, turns does it take for one full rotation on an item frame? So go ahead and pick your answer. Alright, so if you picked 8 turns, you are correct. So. Here we go with the final question, so let's get this started, and the final question is, glass can be mined with silk touch shears, just regular shears, or unbreaking shears. So go ahead and pick your answer, and we will see if pizza is correct, and he is picking the silk touch shears. And he got a green piece of carpet, so he got it correct. So if you picked silk touch shears, you answered that correctly. So here we are at the final room where we uh, score up everything. So go ahead and uh, tally up how many you got correct. Also, go ahead and take a second to celebrate because we are uh, done. And we will now see how many uh, questions you got correct. And I'll go over to the scoreboard. So go ahead and pizza, go ahead and give me your carpet. And pizza got 11 green carpets, so that means he answered 11 questions correctly. Now to be honest, if you guys got any more than 10 correct, uh, you did an amazing job. Uh, but according to the scoreboard, uh, 
the test results find him an average player uh, for pizza. So, I mean, regardless, good job to pizza. He got 11 correct. Um, if you guys got any more than 11 correct, you're a genius. And if you got any less than 7, uh, then uh, try to, like, play a little more Minecraft, you know. But anyway, it was all fun. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching this Minecraft trivia. Hopefully, uh, you learned a few things. Also, please guys, let me know down in the comments section how many answers you guys answered correctly. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video, and I will see you next time.